<laughs> a little bit. Boston BC College hockey. playing for a national championship. Uh, the from Vanderbilt, and he's awaiting this kick. And we are underway from Chestnut Hill from the three-yard line. A look at McGowan's speed. He is a sprinter, and he gets out to the 25. Texas Tech, but everyone has talked about his ability to go up and get the ball down the field. And this is what they're BC is going to really look to do this year. Incomplete from these different offenses and defenses, as there is a new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator in maroon and gold. Let's see the legs of Tommy Castellanos, but they break. So yes. you did not miss anything or have a mental lapse. There was actually plays going on while you were busy grabbing Zaraku and just his ability to get to the quarterback being a, a paramount this year and playing off that and bringing him in. team. First down and 20 after the penalty. Castellanos from the pocket over the middle. Another new name, uh, Kamari Morales. Able to get the ball out quickly because that... That shows us that he's been able to read the play, right? He's getting the defense in his brain. He's able to conceptualize work as the backup quarterback for Castellanos. And off to Jordan McDonald. We're seeing a lot of the guys out of the portal and you know, all the speed. But he has a really good arm. Coaches have liked what he's been able to do in terms of picking up the game plan. So he's going to be, as of right now at least, second quarterback in. And a pass over the middle, complete to Matt Reagan. Out of the line, he's been getting a lot more time of late in practices. James shows a lot of poise in the pocket as he finds Reagan that time. And you mentioned, Mark, two new coordinators. James taking a deep shot, and it's broken up. And it is winding left and no good. So no, they both talked about the defensive line probably has improved more than any other position group over this spring. So right, right now and then ever since he's got here, he's been so good and he's just been coaching me up and polishing me and just getting me ready. You have a new offensive coordinator. Forget that. And as you said, we saw the clinics going on beforehand as Thomas Castellanos is back in and a near interception that time there. Estelano sprinting out to the right. Going to use those legs and angle himself out at about from your fantasy team because they always put him in to score touchdowns. That's right. Let's see what Castellanos does here. He's going to hand it off to Treshawn Ward. You know, we talked about originally he got that opportunity in game one. He did that, and I was like, man, I don't think he can go backwards. He got the offensive side of the ball, too. But let's take, you know, focus a little on different position groups. and I like it. The linebackers specifically and physical specimen gets downhill very well and really as he's making a tackle right there he's he's done a really good job teams but looking forward to him bringing a spark too especially in the pass rush game well that front seven has played well here early and unfortunate massive offensive line right he's 510 doesn't have that height of maybe a pocket passing quarterback but they do want him to sit in the pocket the lead back not playing today with an injury alex broom also was injured today, so that's an opportunity for a guy like Daytrell Jones, especially receiving out of the backfield. The three rushes for 17 yards, slant, Bradley, complete. Defense where Jeff Halfley was very big on man-to-man. -man. A lot of a lot of his coverages, Tim Bowman, who was a legendary defensive lineman here, and he goes, ooh, who's that number 93? He's got some <laughs> movement to him. A lot of that type of setup, and they've run away from the power side of the line. They've run to the right as three times in a row this time. Mismatches. Waiting on our first touchdown of the spring game. Castellanos and going up to get it, but incomplete was Dayton. Jones couldn't hang on to it. Here we go. Castellanos over the middle. Morales, the tight end, has it. Spinning. Here we go on fourth down. Castellanos throws. Broken up. It's away. That's going to be a standalone Labor Day Monday night. ABC game, so big spotlight to start the Bill O'Brien. It was. It was. Matt Ryan, yeah. Brian Hoyer, and Matt Ryan got the, the best of it. Two guys who have been here at practice, and another pass nearly two yards right at the end. He's the third string kicker. That one's got the distance, and it is good. How about... Also, just letting guys know the current players, most importantly, like, the, the value of, of coming here and being at BC. You know, it's, it's really, really cool, so that's that's why I'm selected to have the best staff possible, and he's super genuine in trying to build BC and be here. Like, this is... Had some fun times. Yeah, he, Will was at the Giants with me as well, and 
We did not overlap when we were here at BC, but it's funny. Joker, and so there, I did it around my eyes, and then turned into the whole mask, and it became about uh, um, Coach O'Brien. Uh, his wife is a Boston College grad, and you point now as offensive coordinator. We mentioned Tim Lewis. Okay. Kind of did not have a relationship with Tim Lewis beforehand, but. Castellanos and the ones on the field. Throws it to Day Day Jones. Breaks a tackle. Almost similar to what you're going to see in normal practice. You got situational plays, third down, got to have it. So this will be a, a third, I thought I heard third and eight. Third and eight is the situational play. Another open receiver, and that's Ishmael Zamo. Start being like, you know what, we're just going to get in and play football, and that's what we're seeing here from Grayson James. Another good delivery. And it is complete to Reed Harris, who really clicked. We're not seeing Lewis today because of injury, but Grayson James likes number 10, and he finds him again over the middle. About the fourth option on that play, another third. And the, the right guard, they're going to kind of see who who fills in there, right? Jack Conley's there right now, Kevin. One of the great moments in Boston College history, and here we'll see the legs of Castellanos. Nice jump cut inside, and they'll blow it dead in you to work inside the five-yard line. Little play fake. Castellanos throws, and it is Colin on the first TD throw by Castellanos. Here. Big tight end. Day-Day Jones, the running back, drifted. Him. Oh, it's been awesome. He's an incredible player, so special. Makes so many plays happen. Just, you know, kind of just... At Boston College as well. First-round pick. Played with a number of NFL teams. He, who is just absolutely shot up draft boards where I don't I don't think he was even considered really a first round opt because it could set the legacy of our team for the next 10 years. Oh, for a team who took a Hall of Famer at 120 draft picks could have upwards of 20 off that national championship team. His head coach has got two practices of the year to finish. Little rollout. Look in end zone. Everyone's covered. And the I've gotten to know Jacoby pretty well over the past year as my wife and I lead the athletes in action here at BC. We do some chances in the nation in terms of giving up points. Luca Lombardo nailed it from 50 right before year. I think they're topping it this year. As we continue to pound away from inside the 10, another score. That time, Daytrell Jones. Who was their top receiver? And a little stop by the defense this time as McDonald is denied by Riz. One national champs. BC men's hockey team playing for a national championship later on tonight on ESPN2. And a touchdown here. At the <laughs> it's like the UConn oh. Illinois game. That was at the Garden. That's right. We'll come to its conclusion. All right, so now we're starting inside the own five yard line and from the end zone an overthrow intended for Jaden McGowan that to the flat and then shots now on third down they got to get some yardage check down over the middle McGowan's got it and came up actually usually get experience like that in the NFL when you're going coast to coast now it's going to be a part of the college football game and it's going to be a different sort of mindset right and Second down and 11, pocket closing, and that's going to be an interception. Yard line. The quarterback in, handoff. D.J. Jones Ooh. breaks another tackle. Nice little burst out across. How can we really do this all-coast conference, which is not anymore the Atlantic Coast Conference? It's, it really is all-coast conference. Going out to the West Coast. And how to best display what we have on the field, right? And I think that's the biggest thing. At the end of the day, you've got all is just nothing short of a thrill every single year. Grayson James, who's had himself a nice spring debut. No. Watch, so that's what I'm excited about. You know, I'm focused on my DBs. Look out for the name. Ryan Turner, my young guy, Ryan Turner over there. Uh, I train with them. I score when the <laughs> when all the points are on the line. Oh, we already had a, a big play to Jerron Bradley, and another shot at Bradley makes the catch. At the... Ryan Turner cool played at Ohio State the last two years, had a nice big hit today. Here's a pass right into the arms of Jaden Skeet. Tommy working against Jalen Williams. Be one more situation. That park not too far right here in Boston. 
teammate of Max Tucker won a couple of state titles. Nice catch right off the shoulder. Jordan McDonald from his backup quarterback, Grayson James, who's had a nice debut in B for BC. Another completion. Luke Mon Sounds like a club, right? Yes, it does. It's, the, it's the reopening of the portal. <laughs> Weekdays only. That's what we need to do. We need to... We just start our own nightclub to give up their scholarships, and they're looking for a scholarship somewhere else, and sometimes they don't find a spot. Castellanos, official might have gotten away that way. Honestly, they're usually the toughest guys, right? Because yes, they got to be exactly. in there with the backers. Castellanos going to use the legs. They didn't blow the whistle, and he's got an open skeet for the touchdown. Neto Akpala pleading his case. Like, what, what do you mean? And there will be a standard. For Bill O'Brien, and we'll see that in year one. Over the middle, McDonald that time, or that's Jones. Day Day Jones that time at the game. Six seconds on the clock. Grayson James at QB over the middle. Intercepted in the defense. Coming up with five points with the game sealer. We'll wrap it up from BC coming up in just a moment.